Hello everyone. Hi, and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, tonight I'm going to be doing a pick a card. And this pick a card topic is when will I hear the news I am waiting for? Okay, so this is a when question. Okay, so we have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, and pile number five. So you can choose based on which vibe you get from the numbers or you can choose based on the crystals that you see on top of the cards. I'm not going to mention what crystals are what because I don't want you to be drawn to the meanings. I want you to be more drawn to the piles. Okay, so take a moment, pause the video if you need to. Some of you may have already gotten an immediate vibe. So. I'll give you a couple of seconds and then I'm going to get started. Okay, so let's start with pile number one. Let me move these out of the way. Actually, I'll put this up here. Okay, so pile numero uno, number one. Let's see, what do we have for you guys? Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, we have Empowerment from the Crystal Deck. From the Archangel Animals, we have Gray Squirrel. And from the Moonology Deck, we have Conclusions Are Within Reach, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so let's see. When will I hear the news that I am waiting for? Okay, so with the Nine of Wands, uh, we have somebody that's feeling tired or drained. For some of you, this may be how you're feeling. This may be how the person you're dealing with is feeling. This can also be someone begging for forgiveness. That, that's my take on this card. Um, so some of you may have somebody that's going to come in and they want to apologize to you. Okay, so this being a nine of wands, it could be nine days, uh, nine hours, nine o'clock, or it could be the ninth month, which is September, which is just a couple of weeks away. Okay, so that would fall, um, yeah, so you got two weeks, figure the beginning of September or any time in September with the ninth month nine days nine hours or it could be at the nine o'clock when they reach out to you okay so this person that wants to about apologize excuse me it could be they're finding new ways of solving the problem okay and then they're going to realize that conclusions are within reach and they're going to feel empowered and then that's when they are going to reach out to you okay um, let's see, for those of you that are feeling tired or drained, it could be because you've been waiting to hear from this person, whether it be, it doesn't have to be romantically, it could be, um, for a career, it could be whatever it is that's going on in your life, you're waiting to hear something from someone. So that's why, when will I hear the news that I am waiting for? Okay, so the news that you receive, if it's career-wise, it's going to empower you, okay? Maybe it's uh, something where you have to solve problems. Uh, so whatever career aspect that is, I know there's many, so I'm not even gonna try and, and tackle them. You may have to be solving problems in this, okay? In this new job. And conclusions are within reach. So whatever news that you're waiting for, it is within reach, it is possible, okay? We also have here with the gray squirrel, look up that spirit animal and also look up Archangel Raphael for further messages. Okay. Now this moonology card, even though it says conclusions are within reach, it says full moon and eclipse. It could be by the next full moon phase, which will be in September because the new moon is August 30th. So the next full moon will be in September, which is the ninth month. So... For some of you, it could be in September. Okay, so again, when 
nine days, nine hours, nine o'clock, or it could be the ninth month of September. But based on these cards, I'm saying it's more in September. Okay. Okay. So that's all I have for you, pile one. It's a one question, so it's a quick one. Okay. Pile number two. Let's see what we have for you. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords, the King of Wands, Joy from the Crystal Deck. Okay, and then from the Archangel Animals, we actually have five cards that came out. So we have Wolf, the Independent but Work Together, Archangel Zariel, look this angel up for further messages. Giraffe, Aspire to Higher Knowledge and Wisdom, Archangel Jophiel. Rhinoceros, Be Strong and Courageous, Archangel Sandalphon and Rokiel. Butterfly, Be Ready to Transform with Wisdom, Archangel Premanilic. I don't know if I said that right. Okay, and King Fisher, be patient and focused, Archangel Bokpi. Look all these Archangels up for further messages. Okay, let me fit these five here. And then from the Moonology deck, we have bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So we just had the full moon in Aquarius. So now this is new moon in Aquarius, or it could be the next new moon, which is August 30th. Okay, so let's see here. So we have a fire sign with the king of wands. So this could be you or it could be the, the person that you're waiting to hear from. Okay, so uh, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Okay, so let's see. With this person, I'm feeling you will make a very important contact and will be looking forward to future unfoldment with this person. Okay. See what else fire sign okay that's all I can tell you for that right now then with the two of swords this is an air energy um, I'm feeling there will be several business related calls and news of a delayed or or canceled appointments okay so that's what I'm feeling with this two of swords so for some of you, you may be waiting, it could be for career, you're waiting to hear from this person and the communication is going to be delayed or if you have an interview set up, it might get canceled or delayed. Okay, let's see. Okay, so for love, because we have here, bring love into the situation. So if we're going to, if you're waiting for someone to contact you in a love situation, then this would be um, by the new moon. So in love, it could be if you're waiting for a fire sign you may feel it's delayed because you don't want to wait until August 30th, the new moon phase, because it's about like two weeks away. So that may not make you very happy. But this fire sign I'm also feeling is uh, with the two of swords, maybe at a stalemate or feeling a little conflicted. So that I feel is um, more for career. So for career, if you're waiting to hear from someone, it, it's going to be delayed because this person isn't sure. Okay. But with the number two here, being that it's delayed, you may hear in about... Uh, two could be two days or two weeks okay
We're also, timing wise, sorry I was thinking uh, with the pause. This is a fire sign and we're in the time of Leo right now, which is um, July 23rd to August 22nd. Okay, so being that this is a fire sign person, you may get some news in the time of Leo. So you have up until August 22nd, right? Um, if it's in the time of Aries, that's uh, being that you have delayed news with the Two of Swords. It could be uh, Aries, I believe, is March 21st to April 19th. And if you're waiting, Sagittarius, November 22nd to December 21st. Okay, so that could be three different timings. So Leo is the one that we're in right now dealing with the fire sign. Or it could be um, two weeks. Okay. Because the minor uh, arcana usually denotes days or weeks. Okay. Or with the two, it could be, um, let's see, uh, swords is winter. So the second month of winter, which would be February. So those are all the options for the delayed news. But for those of you dealing with a love situation, if this is not you and you're dealing with a fire sign or a very passionate person, okay, then it could be two days or two weeks okay and that's going to bring you joy and it's bringing love into the situation or it could be by the new moon also for either scenario okay so the advice for you is be patient and focused be ready to transform with wisdom okay be strong and courageous this is all good advice and it makes sense with the delayed news for some of you. Aspire to higher knowledge and wisdom. And then be independent but work together. Okay, so that's what I have for you, pile two. Okay, pile number three okay let's see what do we have for you okay we have the star which is the time of Aquarius we just had the full moon in Aquarius purification there's gonna be some cleansing needed here okay uh, live joyfully in the present Archangel Jule 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 Okay, and then we had three Moonology cards come out. You and your loved ones are safe. New Moon in Cancer. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full Moon in Libra. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full Moon in Capricorn. Okay. Okay, so we have these six cards for Pile 3. Let's see what's going on here with Pile 3. Okay, so I'm seeing yes to contact so when will i hear the news i am waiting for so yes they are going to contact you okay so we're we just had the full moon in aquarius so let's see so i'm feeling we have two full moons here okay which were just in aquarius so the clock is ticking from when we had the full moon in Aquarius until the new moon, August 30th. So we are in that time period now, okay, for some of you in communication. Okay, so numerology, this goes down to number eight. That's a positive change of mind or status. So... That's why you're going to get communication because the status has changed to positive or um, if you were thinking of reaching out to someone or them to you, they, if they weren't, now they've changed their mind to positive, which is to contact you. 
So yes, you're going to get contact and it's going to be soon. Okay, between the full moon we just had in Aquarius to the new moon, August 30th. Okay, and then again with the numerology going down to eight, it could be uh, eight days, eight hours, eight o'clock. Okay, and there's going to be some cleansing going on, some purification here. So if this is for a relationship, things will be mended. Okay, and if this is for a job, if things needed to be clarified, they will be clarified. Okay, or you, you may be working in um, a medical field where, you know, there's cleansing, purification, or some kind of spiritual surroundings. And live joyfully in the present. So now you guys can breathe and relax knowing that you will get this communication and you will be getting it soon. Okay, and look up Archangel Jules because he has, or he or she, has more messages for you. Okay. Okay, so that's all I have for you. Pile number three. What happened to that thing? Okay. That's hilarious. <laughs> wow. I thought I was having a total senior moment. Okay, pile number four. Let's see what we have for you, pile number four. Okay, we have Justice, the King of Pentacles, La Peace Lazuli, Past Life, Okay, B, Spread Heart Healing with Joy, Archangel Premanelik, Premenliak. I don't know. Say that ten times real fast. Okay. And then full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Pile number four. When will I hear the news I am waiting for? Okay. So. We, we see here, if you are not an earth sign, you are dealing with an earth sign. Okay. So, let me see. Okay, so earth sign is um, Taurus... Capricorn or Virgo. So let's see. You may be dealing with a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. I'm sorry for the delay, guys. I'm just really trying to get a read on this for timing. This timing, if you don't know, it's very difficult with the cards. And there's always free will. That can change things as well so please keep that in mind okay and I'm, I'm trying to pull all the different time frames so it can address all the different people in this different situations okay so all right so justice goes that's a uh, number 11 that goes down to two so it could be 11 days it could be two days uh, but this indicates a waiting period with partial success, but more needing to be revealed later. Okay, justice for this also indicates a reconciliation, a reunion, or an element of surprise. Okay, so take what resonates with you. Okay, so it could be a waiting period, like I said, with partial success, um, but more needing to happen later, or uh, reconciliation reunion element of surprise so th those could kind of go together uh, with love or career figure out how it works in your world and um, you'll have your answer with that so with justice this is also uh, Libra okay in the time of Libra so you can look up and see when uh, when Libra is I know it's after Virgo so um, I don't remember the exact date but it's like um, kind of ends of September to beginning of October. So you can check that out for the exact date. Okay, that's gonna be 
So for some of you, it could be the time of Libra, or it could be 11 days, 11 weeks, um, 11 o'clock, 11 hours, or it could be numerology two, two days, two weeks, two hours, two o'clock. Okay, I'm just throwing all scenarios out there. Okay, and like I said, you're dealing with an earth sign or you are an earth sign. Okay, and that's Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Could also be a, a stable person, somebody uh, with with money. Okay. Um, I do see with this a phone call or a caller. Um, and I see for some of you this it's yes to contact soon. Sorry, guys. I do see for some of you with the King of Pentacles, it's yes to contact soon. Uh, it could be by the full moon or 11 days. You could kind of play with the timing with how you think it would fit in your world, okay? And with the King of Pentacles, this could be somebody from a past life that you were dealing with or you are dealing with, okay? Okay, so maybe you guys had gotten into a tiff and it's telling you for advice, don't let pride get in your way. And here we have uh, full moon. So like I said, if it's going to be from now until the next full moon phase, that would be mid-September, I believe. And I'm not sure what time Libra starts. So it could be somewhere around the next full moon to the beginning of Libra, okay, which is in September. And more advice, spread heart healing with joy. Okay, Archangel Premanilic. Is there an I there? Premen Premanilic. I think it's Premanilic. I don't know. Put in the comments below Premanilic three times. <laughs> like a tongue twister. Okay. So let's see. Um, this could also be, okay, so here we have the time of Libra, all right? And then here with the King of Pentacles, this could also be Virgo, because like I said, this is an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So the time of Virgo actually is from August 23rd, to September 22nd. Okay, so August 30th is the next new moon. So if this is saying the next full moon, that's like two weeks after that. So yeah, it's about September 15th-ish, okay? So this could be a Virgo you're dealing with. It could be a Libra you're dealing with. You could be a Virgo or a Libra or just an earth sign. But the time of Virgo is August 23rd to September 22nd. So those are all dates that you should pay attention to. And those are all answers to when I will hear the news I am waiting for. Okay, but yes, you will get the communication. For some of you, it will be delayed. And then for some of you, it will be in the time of Virgo or it will be in the time of Libra. Uh, it will be from an earth sign or a Libra. Could be um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, and it could also be, uh, like I said, 11 days or weeks. It could also be 11 o'clock. It could also be, if we're going to look at the numerology of justice, we have two days, two weeks. Okay. So there's a lot of answers for you guys there. And with the King of Pentacles, it uh, declares soon. So that could be within the time of Virgo because August 23rd is only a few days away. Okay, so that's all I have for you, pile number four. Okay, pile number five. Okay, let's see, what do we have for pile number five? You got some cards. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords, the Devil. The moon. Kunzite, self love. Dove, spread messages of peace and harmony from Archangel Bokpi. 
despair, use power with wisdom, Archangels Uriel and Jophiel. Sheep, act with fortitude and cooperation, Archangels Gabriel and Hope, or Gabriel, excuse me. And a time for healing, Basalmic Moon. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, when will I hear the news that I am waiting for for pile number five? Okay. Okay, so let's start with let's start with the devil. Okay, this is the energy of Capricorn, which is December twenty second to January nineteenth. Okay, this is also an Earth sign. So this could be you or this could be the person you're dealing with. Okay. Uh, this for this particular reading um, is adjustments in thoughts, attitudes, or conditions. Okay. It's the number 15. So that goes to six, which is a waiting period. And for some of you, it could be a negative confrontation or phone call. Okay, so it could be that you're waiting and then when you do get the communication, it's going to be a negative confrontation or phone call. Okay, you may feel that this person needs to adjust their thoughts, attitudes and or conditions. Okay, or maybe they feel this way about you. Okay, so then we have the moon here. All right, so this is 18. This goes to uh, number nine, which is nearing completion. Um, so I get from this card, you're going to be upset by a visitor or caller. Okay. So nearing completion means, all right, they're going to contact you soon. So it could be within nine days. Okay. And then just to go back to this real quick, because I didn't mention it. Uh, for those of you that get this negative confrontation or phone call, that could be within six days. Okay. Uh, let me see. Did I cover everything with the moon? Yes. Okay. So now here, the Ten of Swords. Okay. Um, this goes down to a one, uh, which is coming to terms with something you avoided in the past. Okay. But this person, as you can see, is devastated. So if you do get communication, it's not going to be good. If you do speak with someone face to face, it's not going to be good. Okay. I feel this is a time for healing for you because you're, you're not going to get good news. For those of you that get the communication, like I said, it's not going to be good. Otherwise, it's going to be, uh, there's not going to be any communication. Okay. This is why self-love came up, because you need to heal yourself, okay? With this here, see the colors even match. You need to heal, heal yourself. It's a time for self-love, okay? Because this, this news that you've been waiting for that's coming in, it's going to devastate you, okay? The other uh, advice cards we have here is act with fortitude and cooperation, okay? So... Act with fortitude and cooperation. Don't uh, try not to, to go nuts and just try and, and be civil. Okay, use power with wisdom. So be smart about what you're doing. You can still be powerful and smart without flipping your shit, you know. And then dub, spread messages of peace and harmony. So whatever it is, just, you know, keep your head held high wish whoever well, send them on their way, whatever the case may be, however this resonates with you. But just keep your dignity intact and and uh, just take that time to really heal because that's, that's all you can do at this point. Okay. Okay, so that's all I have for you, Pile 5. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Um... Please continue to do so and peace and love. I will see you in the next video.